Our universe in Palestine is all about learning. So let's explore the first episode of our brand new show for Palestine TV. Good morning, and we want them to learn how to say good morning. Music, movies, animation. Motivation, especially from the teachers. Our skills will grow each day, and we will leave our fears. What's your name? Introduce yourself. Hello. We can do every smile on our face. Your journey here starts with Palestine. Yay! From beginning to it, months will grow and learn each day. Pack will take us there with care and show us the way. Learn with Pack and let the knowledge flow through. Pack to roll your brain muscles. It's simple and it's true. Your journey here starts with Palestine. Hello boys and girls, and welcome to the first episode of our brand new show for Palestine TV, PEC, Palestine English Course. My name is Sarah and I'm your teacher and I'm going to be joining you throughout the show. For our show, we have very, very special parts. The first part of our show is a course where I teach you all you need to know about English subjects. The second part is an interview where I have special guests that come and we have special guests that go out of the studio and interview you at home so you all get to join in. We also have animation where we have friends and they show us all around their animated world. We have song and dance where you sing and dance and join us at home. And one of our last parts of the show is social media where you all get involved at home and you send us videos and pictures of yourselves and I will ask you all questions at the end of every show. So make sure you're watching and make sure you stay tuned. The first thing you're going to want to say when introducing yourself is a greeting. For greetings, we have formal greetings and we have informal greetings. And they are used at different parts when you're introducing yourself. So a formal greeting is used in a classroom or when you're speaking to somebody who's older than you. The formal greetings that we have are hello or good morning, good afternoon and good evening and that depends on the time of day. So if you meet somebody in the morning, you say good morning. If you meet them in the afternoon, you say good afternoon. And if you meet them in the evening, you can say good evening. So make sure you know what time of day it is before you use them so you don't get them mixed up. Now, the informal greetings that we have or hi or hey or what's up you can use these with your friends or on the playground somewhere where it's very very normal hello hello after you say a greeting you want to tell them your name so that way they know who you are so you say this by saying my name is it's very easy say it again with me my name is my name is Rosa what's your name my name is Rosa very good so if I was to introduce myself to you I would say hello my name is Sarah so now you try at home and repeat after me say it with me hello my name is very very good you see how easy that was now after you say a greeting and after you say your name, you should tell the people how old you are. So you say this by saying, I am, and then you say your age, years old. Okay, so how old are you? I'm eight. Really? I'm way older than you. Why, how old are you? I'm 11. So if I was to say it, I would say, I am 20 years old very easy right you try it with me at home let's say it together i am years old very very good let's do it one more time i am years old very very good so after you say a greeting and then you say your name then you say your age you want to tell the person a little bit about yourself and you can say your nationality or where you live. So if you was to say your nationality, you say I am and then you say your nationality. For example, 
I am Kaddish. But if somebody was from China, they would say, I am Chinese. If somebody was from Spain, they would say, I am Spanish. Understand? That is how you say your nationality. But how you say where you live is, I live in, and then you say where you live, your address or your house. Okay, very good. Now, after you say your nationality, you might want to say goodbye to them because that's the end of what you have to say to them. So, there are two different ways again to say goodbye. You can say, nice to meet you, which tells the person that you enjoyed introducing yourself to them and you had so much fun talking to them. Then after you say nice to meet you, you can either say goodbye or you can say bye. Well, it was a nice time being with you. Yeah. I better go home or my parents will get worried. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. So goodbye is the formal one and bye is informal. Bye is what we use for our friends in the park or in the playground. Okay, now we've learned everything about introductions and how to introduce yourself to somebody and let's see how they introduce themselves in the park. Let's go and watch. Oh, this is a good game. Oh, I feel so lonely playing here all alone. Oh, I see someone playing alone on the seesaw. Let me go talk to them. Hello. Hello. My name is Rosa. What's your name? My name is Rosa. You want to play together? Yes, let's go. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Hawler. What about you? I'm from Hawler too. Well, I don't really like this game. Let's go on those swings. Okay, sure. Yeah, this game is a lot better. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, how old are you? I'm eight. Really? I'm way older than you. Why? How old are you? I'm 11. Yeah, you're older than me. What's your favorite game? I like playing football. Really? I like that. So, if I bring my ball here one day, would you play with me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm kind of thirsty. What, what drink do you like? I like orange juice. I prefer apple juice. Really? Yeah. What kind of ice cream do you like? I like chocolate, of course. I prefer vanilla. Why? Well, it's just much better. Ah, okay. Uh, what else do you do? I like drawing and reading in my free time. Okay. I like drawing and uh, singing and reading. Really? What do you draw? I draw like dragons. I draw flowers. You said you sing, right? Yeah. Can you sing my song? Sure. First thing, first I'm gonna say all the words inside my head. I'm fired, I'm tired, the way that's happened better. Ooh, the way that's happened better. Ooh. That was really good. Thanks. Well, it was a nice time being with you. Yeah. I better go home or my parents will get worried. Yeah, bye. Bye. Now, boys and girls, I have a very, very special guest for you all for my interview part of the show. Her name is Miss Halala, and let's all watch and find out how much fun we had and what she had to say to all of you, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, we've come to the part of the show where I can a very special guest. My guest today for you all is Miss Halala, and she's a teacher, and I have a few questions that I'm going to ask her. Welcome, Miss. Hello, thank you very much. Nice having you here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Same here. A few questions for you. Sure. If you would like to answer them. Yes, please. So my first question is, you as a teacher, how do you get your student to say hello in the morning? Well, because it's morning and we want them to learn how to say good morning, we ask them to say hello or good morning. Or sometimes we just... It's very important that we low down at the level of their eyes and we tell them, good morning, Sarah. 
Good morning, Sarah. Or sometimes we show them a picture of a sun, for example, just so they know that they say good morning because it's morning and because the sun rose. And do you find that it's effective every time? Well, we change it. We don't want it to all the time be the same. But when you repeat saying good morning over and over again, good morning, Sarah, they learn to say good morning. Yes. Okay, so my second question is how you would get your students to learn to say their name fluently? Well, if they want to introduce themselves, for example, they are, their name is, for example, her name is Sarah. I say, Sarah, my name is Halala. And then I ask them to repeat, Sarah, my name is Halala. What is your name? And then I wait for her to respond or imitate to say, my name is. Sometimes if they are very younger, I say, I'm Halala. What's your name? I'm Halala. What's your name? And they get to repeat that. I'm Sarah. So you use an example for the children first. Definitely. And they repeat after you. Yes. And it's very important that we, uh, at, at the level of their eyes, we sometimes have to uh, sit down and look them in the eye rather than just, you know, stand up and look down at them. I agree. Yeah. Um, another thing that I would like to ask of how you get your learners to stay is where they live. Because this one is a little bit trickier. Right. Well, when we are at school, sometimes I ask them that we are now at Montessori. But when we finish, where do you go? And most of them, of course, they say we go home. And then I ask them, where is your home? Do you know where my home is? For example, I give them the example of my address. I say, I live there. What about you? And they get to answer that. Yeah, for example, um, if it's a street, I teach them how to say the street. I live on Shorish Street, for example. I don't live there. And why do you think that it's important for children, for young children, if yeah. actually to know what their assurance is? Uh, well, uh, sometimes there might be some incidents that they go out and with their parents, of course, uh, but it happens that they get lost and the parents should always teach their children the address a phone number they can call, and then full name of their parents. So they know where they go to, to a police officer, obviously, saying that I'm lost. This is my name, my parents' name. This is my address. And this way, the child, in some rare cases that accidents might happen, could stay safe and sound. Yeah. And um, another thing that you might teach your children is their age. How do you get them to introduce themselves and use their age? Well, in this case, I might use a doll and uh, or maybe a character. For example, um, you know, Masha and the Bear. Yeah. yeah. And there's uh, an animation. I don't want to advertise for any of the animations, but there's one episode that Masha has a birthday. Uh, so maybe I show them a part of that animation and uh, the candle on the on the cake and say, oh, uh, what is this party for? It's her birthday. How old is she? She is this year's old. And what about you? Yeah, so we have to use, sorry, um, a lot of audiovisual aids for the children. Yeah. Do you have children celebrating their birthday parties in class with their friends? Uh, yes, actually, we are very. Um, we have an environment where children uh, find it very friendly. Uh, their parents usually want to have it. Uh, probably uh, not in class. We have certain places. If they prefer to be in class, yes. Uh, but since we are Montessori, um, so we have some rules for that as well so that uh, all the children feel they are 
at the same level, you know. Uh, I don't want the children to feel that they are being discriminated. Yes, I agree. Yeah, so that is- but we are very, very happy uh, when a child wants to celebrate something of their life with us, that would be wonderful, yes, why not? Definitely. And what about a, a child who's done introducing themselves, but yeah. now wants to introduce a friend of that? Mm-hmm. Well, in that case, I might have a doll or some dolls always with me, and I show the doll to my student and say, do you know my friend? And then I start introducing my friend. For example, if I have a, um, I don't know, a stuffed of uh, Daisy, the character in, uh, you know, the Disney, uh, Daisy and Minnie. And I say, do you know, my friend, this is Daisy. Daisy, this is Sarah. And then I ask my student that, Sarah, today you have a new friend can you introduce your friend to me what is your friend's name and then i mock it with some stuffed animals or some other characters so they can imitate and repeat and what about if a child wanted to make a new friend or if they wanted to find out new ways to speak to people test their introduction skills at a playground or at a park, what would be the best way for them to approach that or approach a new friend of that? Yes, in in this case, uh, usually you need to take the first few steps with the child. For example, go around the class, ask other children or other students to introduce themselves, saying that, um, everybody, this is Sarah our new friend and then I ask all the other children to introduce themselves if they want to shake hands if they want to say anything about their age and that student gets to go around the class meet all the new students and then tries to sit next to someone they like and then starts to introduce himself or herself and that would be about it. I think it's a very effective thing. Thank you. Because it helps the children experience that first in a safe environment, leading them to be more confident in an environment that's unknown, such as a playground or a park. Yes. And how about, how would they introduce their nationality? So for example, in the classroom, there are children of different nationalities, meaning they're not all the same or they're not all Kurdish. How would they approach introducing their nationalities? Even if they have the same nationality, maybe they just want to say it as an introduction about themselves. Yes, we actually, we have um, students from uh, different parts of the world. Um, And in this case, because, you know, especially with uh, some certain nationalities, they have some features of um, face that would say where they come from. So children would love to know where exactly they come from. Uh, Let's take an example of a Chinese student who comes to the class and they speak very little English. Uh, When they get to introduce themselves, the students, other students would love to ask where he or she comes from. So I again ask them to introduce themselves starting from myself. Some of my students call me Holly So I say, hello, I'm Holly. I come from Kurdistan, or I'm Kurdish, for example. And then I ask my other students already in class to introduce themselves and say where they come from. And then the new students to say freely where they come from. Um, Something that's also important is that in our system, child honoring is our basic principle. So where they come from, um, um, whatever background they have, has nothing to do with respecting the child. And children, they learn this in the environment we create for them. Definitely. It's a very important skill that will stick with them even when they're older. Yeah, and also it's very important that the children learn that 
wherever their new friends come from, um, they're still human beings and should be treated just equally. They need to learn to respect each other. Definitely. And my last question for you is something that you can tell all the children at home. It's one thing that you like about yourself that you could add into an introduction when you're introducing yourself to somebody new. Okay. Um, I would like to ask all the children, uh, when they meet someone new, if it's in class or with their parents, it's okay to introduce yourself and it's very important that you keep a smiley face with that person. But at the same time, if you don't know someone, it's really not necessary to introduce yourself or talk to them. You don't talk to strangers. That's what I want the children to know. To make friends with those at school or those they meet with their parents. But if they don't know someone and they're not with their parents, they shouldn't make friends. So true, friends. I hope you benefited from my guest today, Ms. Halala. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much. And I hope you all listened to what she had to say. And I hope you take all of her advice and you use it when you go to your classrooms or when you make new friends in the playgrounds or in the parks. So boys and girls, I told you that I'm not alone when it comes to interviewing our very special guests. I have a few friends and they're going to be joining all of you and they might go to a park, they might come to your school. It's a surprise every show. So let's see who our interviewer is today and let's see what questions they asked you and let's see what they all said. Let's watch. Hello, my name is Rosa Madrid and I'm the reporter of PEC. Today I interviewed really great students. You will, let's go see. Come with me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay, what's your name? Son. Son. Okay. How old are you? I have in the six. Okay. Son, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Okay. Do you have a best friend? Yes. Are we so? How old is he? Have, they're both half in the six. Okay. Do you know his name? Yes. What's his name? Mm, what's in the house? Okay. Son, when you come to school in the morning, how will you... Uh, say good morning to your teachers. I'll say good morning. That's that's amazing. When you're in places and you make a new friend, how do you? What do you say to them? Mm. You want to play with them? That's cool. Okay, but when you, when you're leaving, what do you say? Do you say bye? I say bye. That's amazing, son. Okay, son. Are you good at school? Yeah, I play it off. Do you have fun? Yeah. All right. Thank you, son. What's your name? Rasan. Okay, Rasan. How old are you? Six. Okay, Rasan. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Okay. In the morning, when you come to school, how do you greet your teachers? Hi. Okay. When you are in a park or somewhere out and you make a new friend, what do you say to them? Hello, you want to be friends? Okay. When you're leaving the park with your parents, how do you say bye to them? Bye-bye. Okay, Rasan. Uh, do you have a best friend? Yes. What's his name? Eden. But I have lots of friends before. And you still Yep. You have lots of friends? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you good at school? Yes. Do you have fun? Yes. All right. Thank you, Rasan. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay. What's your name? My name is Dahlia. Okay, Dahlia, how old are you? I am seven years old. Okay, Dahlia. In the mornings when you come to school, how do you greet your teachers? I greet her by saying, hi, how are you? Bye, happy All right. When you go to a park or somewhere and you make a friend, how do you tell her to play with you? I tell her, come, let's play together. Okay, what about when you're leaving? When I'm leaving, I say bye. I need to go. Do you have a best friend? Yeah. What's her name? Her name is Heva. How do you introduce your best friend to other people? I introduce her by saying this is, uh, for example, a people. And I say to the other people that this is Heva. All right. Can you tell us a little bit of your national nationality? 
Yeah, I love by eating rice, and I also love gymnastics. And that's amazing. Are you good at school? Yeah. Do you have fun? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Dalia. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Lehad. Okay, Lehad. How old are you? Two. No, I mean eight. Eight years old. Okay. Lehad, do you have a best friend? Yeah. How will you introduce your best friend to other people? I don't know. Okay, when you come to school, how do you greet your teachers? I'll say good morning. Okay. What if you are in a park and you make a friend? What will you say to them? I'll say, can you be my friend? And they'll say yes. <laughs> okay, when you're leaving, how do you say bye to them? Uh, I say goodbye. Okay. Leah, you, are you good at school? Yes. Do you have fun? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me a little bit of your nationality? <laughs> no. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Leat. Okay, Leat, how old are you? Eight. Okay. When you come to school in the morning, how do you greet your teachers? Good. Okay. Um, when you're in a park and you make a friend, how do you say goodbye? <laughs> say goodbye. Okay, how do you make friends? I said can you be my friend? They'll say yes. Okay. Do you have a best friend? Yeah. How old is he? Um, six. What's his name? Lat. Okay. Are you good at school? Yeah. Do you have fun? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's Bye. Yeah. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Amelia. Okay, Amelia. How old are you? I feel so. Okay. When you come to school in the mornings, how do you say good morning to your teacher? Hi. Okay. When you're in a park, let's say, and you make a new friend, how do you introduce yourself? I say, you want to play with me. Okay, what about when you're leaving? What do you say to them? Bye. Do you have a best friend? Yeah. How old is she and what's her name? Amelia. Amelia? Okay. Are you good at school? Yeah. Do you have fun? Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Amelia. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Lovan. How old are you? Eleven. Okay, Lovan. When you come in the morning to school, how do you greet your teachers? Good morning. Do you have a best friend? Yes. Okay. When you have a best friend, how do you introduce your best friend to other students? Um, I go to the students and say this is my best friend and help them to encourage themselves to see you. Okay. When you're in a park and you make a new friend, how do you make a new friend? They introduce themselves to me. Okay. What about when you're leaving? How, what do you say to them? Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Alina. Okay, Alina. How old are you? I am eight. Okay. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Yeah. When you come in the morning to school, how do you greet your teachers? I'm going to tell hi. Say hi. When you're in a park and you make a friend, how do you make a friend? I'm going to tell uh, uh, I'm going to tell hi, how are you? Can I be your friend? Do you have a best friend? Yes. What's her name? Uh, when uh, the name is uh, uh, Annabella and uh, when um, do the just do I have? Okay. How do you introduce Annabella to your other friends? No, she's now not here, but she's gonna come. I'm gonna play with her. Oh, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Nas. Okay, Nas. How old are you? Eight. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, okay? Okay. When you come to school in the morning, how do you say good morning to your teachers? I say, when I come into the in the class, I will say, hi, Miss, good morning. Okay. Do you have a best friend? Yes. What's your name? 
Sava. Okay, Sava. How do you introduce Sava to your other friends? I bring my friends to to see her if they know her. Okay, if you're in the park and you make a friend, how do you make a friend? I say, can I be your friend? Okay, what about when you're leaving? What do you say to her? I said, bye, I'm going back. Okay, thank you, Naz. Bye. Why? Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Dura. Okay, how old are you? I am seven. Okay, when you come in the morning to school, how do you say good morning to your teachers? I say good morning, teacher. Do you have a best friend? Yes. What's her name? Alina. Okay. And Sarah, okay. If you're in a park and you make a friend, how do you make a friend? I say to her, you want to be friend? When you're leaving, what do you say to your friend? Do you say bye? I say to her, bye. See you next time. Do you have fun at school? <laughs> no. All right, thank you. I would like to thank our two friends, Kara and Shena, for showing us how they introduce themselves. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Palestine English Course. I'm your friend, Shayna. Here to have some fun. Introductions are important, you see. They help you share who you want to be. Meeting new friends in school or at play. Let's learn to introduce ourselves today. Hello, good morning, or maybe hi. Greet everyone with a cheerful eye. Formal or informal, just Try English times here. Let's reach for the sky. My name is Shane. They are simply I am. Introduce yourself. Don't be in a jam. I'm from here. Or sad news for you all. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our show. But don't worry, because I have something very special for you all. I want you, boys and girls at home, to send in pictures and videos through Palestine social media. And I have a question for you that I want you to answer. My question is how to say your name. So you're going to send in pictures and videos of you saying your name. So for example, you can take a video and say, hi, my name is, and then you say your name. 
I look forward to seeing all of your pictures and videos. And until next time, bye bye. Our universe in Palestine is all about learning. So and let's explore the best episode of our brand new show for Palestine TV. Pet. Good morning, and we want them to learn how to say good morning. Music, movies, anime. Motivation, especially from the teachers. Our skills will grow each day, and we will leave our fears. Hello. What's your name? Introducing saying this. Hello. We can do every smile on our face. Your journey here starts with Palestine. Yay! From beginning to it, months will grow and learn each day. Pack will take us there with care and show us the way. Learn with Pack and let the 